So remember the web graphs that we discussed before? If you don't remember, let me uh, revise it quickly for you all. A web graph is basically a graph with a node. Okay, this node represents, um, let's say, a page like this, a page pointing to another page, right? So the, here is a page which has a hyperlink to another page. You click on this, you are taken to a new page, right? And I and, and internet has thou millions and millions of such pages, right? Several such um, pages, a whole lot of such pages, correct? And then I, I look at the underlying graph and that's called the web graph, the graph of the world wide web. So I'm going to consider that right now. Okay. So typically uh, a, a node represents um, a node represents a page. This represents a page and an incoming link to it represents um, a link that is pointing to this page as simple as that. Right. Okay. So there may be many such incoming links to a web page from some other page. By that I mean if I put a link to your home page from my home page, then I put an edge from my home page to your home page. Home pages are all nodes here and if there's a link from one page to the other, you put a directed edge. Right? These are all the web pages from where there is a link put to this page. Okay. So these are the incoming links to a given node, right? Here the incoming link is, uh, incoming degree is 3, right? That's called the degree. Now, let me plot on x and y axis the following. On x axis, I will write the incoming degree. And on y axis, I will draw the distribution, right? And I'll observe what's happening here. I observe that there is a drop like this. Unlike the previous case, we don't see a normal distribution here, okay? And in fact, a closer observation even tells me that this plot very, very much resembles 1 over k square, where k is this, k is the x-axis, it resembles this, right? And this is called the power law. Right, the law where the, the law which states that some distributions do not exhibit normal behavior. You don't see a bell curve there. You see a drop like this, a drop like this. Okay, okay. So the exponent here is 2. It can be anything um, uh, for what we know. It can be anything. But in this case, in the case of uh, the web links, it turns out to be k square. Okay. So what have we observed so far? When you plotted the incoming degree versus the distribution, right, you got this for web graphs. But then when you, this was one over k square, but then there's a difference. What's the difference? Normal versus power law. What is the difference? See, initially you saw, uh, we, we plotted two graphs, one was normal, one was power law, right? What is the huge difference between these two things? What does power law tell us, okay, which normal uh, uh, distribution didn't? Do you see this? In fact, this actually extends, right? Do you see the yellow line here? Let me show that to you once again. This actually extends, it goes beyond. Uh, 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 for, for a long time, you will see a curve like this, okay? So let me just extend this uh, green line also. And what does this signify? What is this band here? What is this band here? What does it denote? Please look at the x and y axis. It's rather self-explanatory. What does it denote? It denotes something very significant. Observe carefully. It denotes that this continues. This goes on. Goes on means what? It means there are nodes with very high incoming degree. Do you think that's what this, this means? Look at this, um, this side, this, this, this x-axis. X-axis means what? We just wrote it. The incoming degree. The incoming degree is very high here as it goes on uh, on the right side of the x-axis. And the yellow line denotes that there are nodes. There are nodes with very, very high degree. That was not the case in normal distribution as you remember, correct? The, the power law simply says that 
the curve goes extends beyond uh, a stage and it sort of uh, is close to the x axis although it doesn't become equal to x axis it goes on which means the it, it shows of shows us of the existence of nodes that have very high incoming degree right fine here's the question why do you observe this drop of the curve and secondly how come there are so many nodes with higher and higher degrees observed in real world networks i hope you remember that in the previous lecture uh, one of the previous two lectures we observed that if you plot it for let's say random graph which is a gnp model with some 1000 nodes and probability 0.1 you observed that it was a quick drop how was the graph remember the graph was something like this that's all after this there was no extension before this there is no uh, value no node which satisfies this it's all it is it all lies between this and this but in but in case of real world networks we see that it sort of extends firstly it drops it drops and extends right both funny and strange why is this happening will be uh, the um, the the crux of this chapter and the crux of discussions in the forthcoming lectures okay let's go ahead okay so it has a uh, very high degrees what we observed remember that there are many nodes with very high degree it goes on and on this is called the power law okay power law is basically the drop of the plot the distribution drops okay and that resembles a 1 over k to the 2 or k to the 3 or in general 1 over k to the alpha let's say okay all right so the power law is a drop it is observed in many situations not just in 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 the in, in what what did we observe in the previous case uh, we saw the distribution of let's say uh, the incoming nodes of a web graph uh, and we observed it's a power law the immediate next question you may want to ask is where exactly do i see power law apart from these web graphs in fact you see them in many situations you will see them in telephonic conversations let me uh, go back so that i can i can um, show them to you one by one so you will actually see this distribution this kind of distribution is observed in the telephonic conversation for example what does this mean this means you you again plot x and y axis okay on x axis you plot the time duration of phone calls and on y axis you plot the number of such phone calls. or percentage of such phone calls you both are one and the same and you will observe that it's again a drop like this okay so what do i mean by this how many phone calls have been of 5 minute duration a whole lot of them how many of them have been of 10 minute duration uh, a whole lot but relatively less compared to what used to happen um, for a 5 minute phone call duration that, that's a whole lot as you can see 10 minutes is less 15 minutes is a lot less so on and so forth right and you do find this extends and you do find there are phone calls which are of uh, high time duration right this distribution is also a power law very surprisingly okay where else do we see power law we see that in many places in fact this um, um these data sets are actually available online you can just check so where again do we see the distribution of song downloads right what are the number of songs what are those songs which are downloaded more than 10000 times from a website there are some official uh, song download websites right so if you go and look at this even this shows a power law okay this shows a exponential drop like this okay so which means power law is observed in many places while we think it should have been a bell curve in place of bell curve there is a drop like this okay So, so on. So, there are many such networks. You can take a look at it. In fact, there are hundreds known till date, or maybe even more. Right? I I know at least a couple of dozens of uh, very well-known networks that exhibit power law. And people have even looked at why exactly they exhibit power law, which will be the focus of our uh, next lecture. So now we observe that there is a normal distribution. 
there's a power law distribution right so this is this we completely understood right we understood it completely why was it i, I remember i took random variables and i showed you that the sum of random variables is what results in a curve like this right there's nothing much to explain there and physicists chemists biologists you name it people have observed this uh, normal distribution extensively and in statistics this this makes the crux of uh, uh, many observations and they analyze it as well very nicely and neatly and the math of it is completely understood and it's also very uh, nice and elegant you may want to look at it in case you are interested okay and what we need to understand is we understood this what we need to understand is this now right how does this come by let us understand this now. so our main focus that's coming next is um, we look at this uh, power law networks which is the uh, web graph and we'll ask this question how did this happen why did this come here what exactly made this curve appear like this while we were actually expecting what were we expecting we were expecting something like this right something like this we were expecting we ended up getting something like this okay we'll see more of it in the next lecture